see she don't fuck with you cause she don't fuck with bitch niggas and you know it ain't a hit and love. Scanny ass bitch there. What's good YouTube? It's your boy LV Skinny and today uh yeah I know I'm I'm kinda late on this shit. Well actually I ain't really late. This story ain't really get pushed that much as it should have. But y'all know about them Soldier Boy and Chris Brown, how they was supposed to fight. Everyone already thought the shit wasn't gonna really go down. And then you know what I'm saying, it really didn't go down. But you know what I'm saying? Hella classic. They, they 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 got the hella classic footage even though this is recent in 10 years it's gonna be classic but yeah they 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 got the chris brown side of it explaining why he ain't fighting soldier boy what's up y'all party tour coming real soon tour day south pre-sale tickets you can get them right now me 50 cent cap g oc genesis man fabulous <laughs> it's gonna be crazy as a motherfucker That's a i can't wait up. we're gonna turn up and make sure y'all don't be listening to all this bullshit, man. But uh, them people on the other side doing, let them do what they doing. I don't know what the fuck they talking about. And number two, I bowed it out of this Soldier Boy fight. I'm gonna tell you why, because it was a legend. Alright, so that, that right there. Soldier Boy ain't no bitch. Niggas was trying to say Soldier Boy bitched out and Soldier Boy did this. Chris Brown just said with his own words, he bowed it out. But right, now let's get to his reasons. Jit thing. On a positive scale, all, all the wrong people got in the way, the middleman people got in the way, the the, <laughs> the, the, the homies, so to speak, that that's right, got in the way because they want to get a piece of the pop. It's immature, first of all, for, first and foremost. Second of all, I ain't never, ain't no nigga gonna ever hold me up. So, however everything goes, this how we rock. He gonna see me, he gonna see. Me. <laughs> I ain't out here moving nothing crazy, but just don't believe all that bullshit, bro. I'm out. Eh, he ain't really, he ain't really explained it the way I, I was expecting him to explain it. But basically, his shots was at Whack One Hundred and uh, the game, cause you know what I'm saying the game. Uh, they got into it because I think it was something to have to do with California, cause the fight was gonna go down in California, and Whack One Hundred was like, like why? How, how y'all niggas think y'all gonna come down in our turf and do this shit and not cut us no bread and not do shit for us and blah blah blah. We need to be on that ticket too type shit. So they started getting into it and wanting money. So that's gonna be taken away from Chris Brown and Soldier Boy's money type shit. But, but, at the end of the day, it shouldn't be about the money. It, I know it should be about the money. But it shouldn't between Chris Brown and Soulja Boy. Them niggas was talking crazy to each other on damn, uh, what was it? I think it was Instagram. But yeah, they was just talking crazy like they was going to do it. Like they was they was talking like they was going to go through with it. I was really tuned into that shit like, oh shit. I, Soulja Boy my nigga, but you know what I'm saying? I was going to have to go with Chris Brown. But that, that, it, it, it disappoints me when... when I see shit like that, like people hyping up something and then they don't go through with it. Then like something comes up, they're like, oh, well, we're canceling it because of it. Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Let me know what y'all think about it. If y'all got some more information for me, let me know. But yeah, uh, shout out Chris Brown and Soldier Boy. I ain't got no problems with either one of them. They, they both, Chris Brown definitely makes some hot music. Chris Brown definitely is that nigga. And Soldier Boy is definitely an inspiration in my life from damn him being a uh, hit maker fucking producer at a young age and making his own beats for his own songs like i'm on the same shit like those boy definitely a big inspiration but i thought i was gonna see him fight another thing conor mcgregor and mayweather i haven't been feeling like that fight is gonna go down but with all this media like the pushing it and i feel like that shit really might go down uh yeah, man. Like, comment, subscribe, all that shit, man. I'm out. Strongest on a million. Bitch, do you wanna ride? Do you? Do you wanna get inside? Do you? Bitch, ass or gas? Bitch, ass or grass? Do you wanna ride? Do you? Do you wanna get inside? Do you? Bitch, ass or grass?
bitch ass or nasty.